Hi all, Alex here. Right, so I thought I'd do a little update on the Band of Brothers starter set that I had for Christmas. And I think I made a, a bit of good progress, to be honest. Um, now I'm back at work, so things are going to slow down dramatically. Um, and I'll just take my time to complete these. So uh, <clears throat> I'll show you what I've done uh, in the break over Christmas and, uh, and what I'm carrying on with. So uh, you can see that I've done the um, the ruins. I'll zoom out a little bit. <clears throat> Excuse me. So this is the farmhouse ruins or part of it. Um, I've got the other part done as well, but I didn't want to put it onto this field as it looks a bit cramp, cramped. So uh, I've just kind of put it on here. And uh, I've kind of made it look um, as if it's been there for some time. And you can see... Uh, the moss. Um, let me just grab. The moss is built up around the rocks and the brickwork here that's crumbled down, and it looks like uh, it's been there for for a long time. So, quite like the effect. I've put a creeper up the side here. Um, I think the colouring looks pretty good. Yeah. Um, and I've aged the wood as much as I can do. Let's take this guy off. So uh, you can see the wood grain in that. And uh, if I spin around, you can see the rafters. Yeah, so not too bad. I I, I need to revisit it and just touch it up in places. But um, I've kind of put uh, dark oak beams where the window seals were. Um, yeah, so all in all, quite pleased with how that's turned out. And this is part of the layout that I've got, um, which I've got big plans for later. So as far as the figures are concerned, I've done a little bit of, um, I don't know whether you call it kit bashing, uh, but I've modified a lot of these. Um, well, I'll say a lot of them, that LMG and that LMG nest you've seen that one before I think but uh, so I've made a couple of uh, prone guys I haven't got the right bases for them so I simply put them on the normal bases they're a little bit um, I've just varnished these in a matte varnish so uh, they should be pretty dry but yeah and I've put the decals on them now, I'm not sure whether the decals go on the left hand side of the helmet or on the right hand side of the helmet I know it's the right one for the 101st um, airborne but yeah every time i google something <clears throat> same with the colors to be honest i find about 10 different variants of colors and 10 different variants of where their insignias go um yeah so quite pleased with how they've turned out to be honest yeah i was worried about the backpacks being a little bit yellow i mean this is uh, dark sand on there and I was worried about the patches on their elbows and knees but looking at the pictures on Google that's about as close as I'm going to get it so uh, that's as good as I can do I think um, I'm sure someone's probably going to tell me that it's the wrong colour and um, I should have done it in a different colour well yeah you're probably right but I'm, you know, I spent quite a bit of time researching this, and this is the best I can find. So I've kind of gone with with what I could do there. So, uh, so yeah, there's two prone guys that I've done. Um, yeah, you can't see their faces in the shadows, but yeah, I'm putting a lot of detail in their faces at the moment. Uh, and the same with this uh, this one here that you've probably seen on the last video. But now they got the decals on. Um, I'm quite pleased with that. <clears throat> You've seen these guys here. But they're all deckled up. I'm not going to do too many Mohican guys. Uh, I know they, they call them the Dirty 13. And um, they were kind of a special unit. But uh, what I wanted to do is show you my latest. Um, where can I put it here? 
this is the latest kind of uh, creation I've done. I've made a kind of machine gun nest, if you like, and I made this out of popsicle sticks. This uh, this little plinth they sat on uh, made it look dirty, and uh, with the dirt and everything. And uh, so what I've done is I've used two kneeling poses. I've extended the. Uh, actual magazine to make it work by um by altering a couple of them and uh, made the sandbags out of modeling clay used a little bit of the uh, sarissa barbed wire to add that on there a little bit of dirt on the actual base and uh let's see if we can zoom in and see their features and I, what i tried to do let's see if i can get under it what I try to do is get some stubble on their f their faces. Oh, you can just about see it there. And I, that's about as good as I've ever done, that is, to be honest. So I'm quite pleased. Doing the teeth on the one on the right was difficult. And, uh, yeah, so um, all in all, I'm pretty chuffed with how they came out. So you can see I put their uh, unit insignia on their helmets on the right hand side. Not sure if it's the right or left. I know their uh, Screaming Eagles patches go on the right or on their on their left, I should say. Yeah, quite chuffed with how that's turned out. Uh, to be honest, well, I've got a, a few of these left to do. Yeah, so um, what have I got there? 13, I think, I've, I've made in total. I've got uh, all these over here to finish off. So I shall crack on and get on with them. And then I've got the uh, <coughs> the German half-track to finish on the, um, the opposition, German Grenadiers, and then the German Grenadiers themselves. So what I'll do is I'll keep uh, plugging away until the whole... Um, set is finished and then once I've done that I shall uh, have a get, get the rule book out I've been looking at it and uh, I shall probably video a solo game and then uh, we'll see how that goes so for now thanks for watching and uh, I'll catch you on the next one